Hello everyone. So here we are again, one more uh, video tutorial for my Christmas Craft Fair 2022 series. So make sure to always check below in the description that I always have links to the other tutorials, okay? Today our focus is kids. <laughs> it's actually the first time I do anything for kids. I, I just, it never crossed my mind before. And this year I said, you know what, parents come and they, they are always, I mean, the moment they see something for kids, they go, wow, I have to get one. So I came up with this kit. You can actually put whatever you want in this kit. Uh, what I thought that would be nice is always to have one activity of some kind. And I do have some activity there. This book here I got at the dollar store and it's uh, 250 stickers, very cute stickers. So I thought you should have something fun. So stickers, that's what it is. And I also have those, you see the, uh, the uh, those stickers are the felt ones, this one right here. Those are stickers too. So that, that's part of the fun, fun part of the kit. And the activity, what I did was I got some of this coloring, um, Christmas tree and ornaments here. I got this at the Hobby, at Hobby Lobby. But just go to your local craft stores and make sure you have an activity. And that's the activity for my kit. You have something fun like stickers or whatever you find. And the, the crayons are for the activity themselves. And I made sure to create, look at this. Do you see this display here? I wanted the crayons to not be just kind of inside the box going uh, to the right and to, uh, very loosely. I wanted to create some kind of display and I'll teach you how I, ma I made this one. It's very easy, it's actually just a strip of paper and you just glue in in a certain way and make those holes. But I thought it, it was you know, something that is worth doing to show the crayons and not just put them inside and and they will just, you know, the moment you move them and you take them to the craft fair, they may move around. So that's something I came up with, but you don't have to do it for sure. I will show you how to do it though. And I'll give you the measurements as well, okay? So we are going to start, I think I'm going to start with the stickers. Again, I wanted the stickers to be very visible and I not just put them, throw them inside the box. I'm inside the plastic bag. So this is what I came up with. It's just a strip of paper. The size, it depends on how many you're going to stick there. So, but what you do is just put a little bit of glue, just some dots of glue to make sure that they'll stick and they'll stay there. Cause you want to make sure that everyone sees what's inside your kit. And that's the idea here. And then you just kind of stick them. This, this, uh, stickers here they're felt and they have double-sided foam adhesive on the back so it this is and this is a, the, ad, the adhesive that i'm using here is dry so it's not really going to compromise anything so there you are you make just kind of a display for them so that they stay in the bag visible you want the parent to look and know what's inside this is the display here so let me show you how to make it this is six inches by three and you're going to score at three and seven eighths four and a quarter there you go do you see that you have four scoring lines so three and seven eighths four and a quarter five and a quarter and five and five eighths so four scoring lines that's what you're going to make and then you're just basically going to fold it let me show you how this is what it looks like at the end. And you're going to glue the top, see, right there. And then you're going to just place the, uh, the crayon. And how do you make sure that it, it goes in? I didn't have any punches that were big enough. So here's the best way to do it. You just get your X-Acto knife or some kind of cutting tool that you have. And you are going to cut, I already have the other four cut, you can see it there. You are basically just going to do like an X. So two, you're going to cut two lines, one vertical in one, look at that, uh, maybe, yeah, now you can see, see, you have four, two lines cut and then you, when you press it down, it makes kind of a star, 
light right there so very easy and then you're just going to use your crayon to make sure that it goes through and that it's loose enough okay so one horizontal and one vertical very easy you don't need a punch <laughs> i know we we sometimes get so used to having all these tools around and and everything becomes complicated when we don't have it but look how easy it is you just go from one of the scoring lines the top one down and then you make another uh, this wasn't big enough so i just made sure to let me see if you can see what it looks like it's just like the other ones but just to make sure that it's loose enough you use your crayons or whatever you're you're going to put that you can do that with pens too and pencils it depends on what you're going to have for your kit and i just kind of screwed it up right there do you see the color but that's fine nobody's going to see that and then you just glue you just glue the top and you're done and as you can see i have some glue right there on the top because i glued the wrong part but i'm back and i don't worry because this is not going to show i am going to substitute this one for sure but i wanted to make sure to show you see that's what it's supposed to look like on the sides and then you just press uh, your crayons and you just stick them in i have some glitter ones so i usually put the glitter one in the middle and then the rest just on the side and i make sure that it shows crayon so they know well everybody knows what a crayon is i guess but <laughs> that's that's what i see it, it looks much better than just throwing them in the plastic bag and you can it's kind of a stand you're just creating a stand for the crayon again you don't have to do that and i also cut the corners there with my uh, this is something a punch that i use all the time because it creates like that yeah it looks like a tag like a tag uh, finishing so that's it and and then after that the last thing the last thing I do is to to add some kind of embellishment so yeah so we're done with that here is the plastic bag and what we're going to do now is to basically put it together let me just zoom out so you can see it well everything is ready to go in the bag because all the rest is really just a matter of putting it in in uh, arranging so here's a tip for you do you see where the resealable part is you want to make sure that the resealable part is under so the top of your uh, kit when you look at it like this the top should not be resealable so do you see that you see what I'm talking about so the resealable part the glue stays in the bottom because if you want to fix if you need to fix it or something uh, you can uh, just open it up and add something else but also you're going to add a piece of paper on the top as an embellishment and you want to make sure that that's on the top and not in the bottom you don't want to uh, staple the resealable part so here you are you can see the stand see it just i think it just adds something to the kit it just looks better that way when you can see everything that there they are all all my stickers i have the i have all the activity sets in there too i added some uh, ribbon for those uh, the trees and the ornaments it actually comes with it so i'm just gonna add that and you just you just add whatever you want in this kit so activity and something fun so now that the kit is done i'm just going to seal it and you see this is a great example of why you should have the sealing part in the bottom because do you see on the top there i forgot to put the glitter uh, the glue glitter or the glitter glue <laughs> and i'm going to open it up at the end and just add it uh, yeah so now we're going to do the top the top is very easy you just get a paper that is the width of your plastic bag depends on the width i think this one is five by eight so we're going to have it five by three and a half that's long and that is thick enough three and a half and you just fold it and then that's it you're done you have the top it's just an embellishment and it gives it a much nicer look than to just have the bag by itself there you are see and you just place it in wherever you want and you staple it then i usually add some kind of embellishment too on the top so you staple the sides right there and you're done 
that's it you are done with your kit so this is a very easy project to do and that's what I've been trying with my series to come up with something quick and nice but very easy to make so that you can have fun and you can mass produce so there you are we have two do you see that the one on the left has the glitter glue I uh, and the other one doesn't but I'll add it at the end after the video okay I noticed that after I, I did the video but anyway all you need to do is just add something on the top right there and make sure that it's embellished and we are done so one more video tutorial for you I hope you had fun oh there it is see I found it and there you are you can see that I can add at the end because I did what I told you just leave the glue in the bottom okay so thank you so much for being here with me i hope you had fun and i'll see you in my next video